Well, it's time to find your napkin or your barf bag. Get ready for 10 common food combinations that might harm your health. They say we are what we eat. Yes, I've turned into a hamburger with pickles. Now, you might not agree with this statement, but you won't deny that our health greatly depends on our diet, will you? Sometimes, even the healthiest of foods we eat, combined with others, can ruin all that healthiness you were aiming for. Who could have thought cereal and orange juice is bad for you? So, before you start taking healthy notes and checking on your fridge, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. Okay, let's get this forbidden feast started. Counting down from number 10. Cocoa and milk. A cup of hot cocoa with milk is a super popular way to fight cold weather and winter melancholy. Well, you might have to reconsider this remedy. You see, cocoa is rich in oxalic acid. Was that? It blocks calcium absorption. When combined with calcium, this acid contributes to the formulation of oxalate crystals, which are bad for your kidneys in excessive amounts. Of course, one cup of hot chocolate a week won't harm you, but you should be careful with it, especially if you have kidney problems. If that's the case, replace regular milk you add to cocoa with skim milk. It won't change the taste too much, but will be better health-wise. Number 9. Fruit and yogurt Fresh fruit and yogurt, a classic combo. I love it! Hit like if you often start your day with it. Again, you might want to reconsider or slightly change this eating habit. Dairy foods alone can worsen symptoms of allergies, block sinuses, and be congestive. Fresh fruits added to them only make things worse. Sour fruits, in particular, slow down your digestion, especially when eaten in the morning. So, if you like to have some yogurt early in the day, either go for plain natural Greek version or add dry apricots or plums to it. Number 8. Salad and lemon or vinegar dressing Many vitamins and other valuable nutrients, like carotenoids, that are found in vegetables and greens, require fats for proper absorption. Whenever you dress your salads with lemon or vinegar only, you deprive yourself of a lot of healthy food elements. Fortunately, there's a good healthy alternative – vegetable oils. They are pretty awesome, as they help you stay young and pretty. Aw oh, shucks! If you are not a fan of those, try adding other high-fat products to your salad – an avocado, olives, or some nuts. 7. Cheese pasta and tomatoes The starchy carbs that pasta is so rich in start to digest right in our mouths. It happens with the help of a special ferment, tallion, that is found in our saliva. Tomatoes, on the other hand, contain malic, oxalic, and citric acids, which, even in small amounts, break this ferment down. It slows down starch digestion. The proteins found in cheese can make things even worse. So have your pasta with non-acidic fresh or baked veggies and greens, such as basil. It'll taste yummy and feel good. Number 6. Pasta and minced meat Another popular yet wrong food combo – pasta and minced meat. It's pretty heavy and hard to digest. The starch pasta is so rich, it needs alkalotic digestive fluids, and the proteins from meat demand acidic ones. When you mix them, they get stuck in your stomach and can cause heartburn, belching, gas, and other unpleasant consequences. Mm. To avoid all that pain, try having durum wheat pasta as a separate dish or combine it with herb sauces. Number 5 eggs, and bacon. A classic breakfast combo, loved by many. Eggs and bacon go so well together, you think they were meant to be a unit. It's like the story of the pig and the hen crossing the street to go to the restaurant. Big sign outside says, today's special, bacon and eggs. The hen says, how wonderful, what an honor. 
The pig says, well, this requires only a contribution from you. For me, it's total commitment. Well, this story is a sad one. Eggs and bacon combined are rich in protein, and scientists believe that this is not so good for your health. Your body spends a lot of energy on digesting such products. That's why, when you have eggs and bacon for breakfast, you deprive yourself of the energy you need so much at the start of the day. It doesn't mean you have to give up on your favorite morning meal altogether. Just substitute bacon with tomatoes. The antioxidant selenium, found in eggs, is better digested with the acids brought by tomatoes. The lycopene in tomatoes has better health effects for you when it's combined with vitamin E from the egg yolk. Number 4. Bran and milk Bran and milk? you got to be kidding me! What could be wrong with this combination? Well, it turns out that the phytic acid found in bran forms insoluble compounds when it's combined with calcium and magnesium. It also makes these minerals inaccessible to your body. This acid is also found in wheat grits and oatmeal, but in smaller amounts. That's why it's not a great idea to combine these products with milk too often. Moreover, scientists recommend drinking milk separately, one to one and a half hours after your meal. Try using heat to help break down the phytic acid. Boil bran beforehand. Number 3. Cereal and orange juice. Ah, oh, come on! Cereal combined with orange juice, especially in the morning, won't bring you the boost of energy you expect, but may cause discomfort and heaviness in your stomach. The acids in orange juice drastically lower the activity of the enzyme that is responsible for breaking down carbohydrates. For this same reason, it's not recommended to combine grains with any other sour fruits or berries. To be safe, have your glass of orange or other fruit juice an hour after your meal, not with it. Number 2. Pizza and soda. Holy cow, I'm gonna starve! Okay, this one doesn't sound like a very healthy combination, because putting together two junk foods won't make them any healthier. Still, admit it, pizza and soda are a popular guilty pleasure. Tell me about it. The combination of carbs, proteins, and starch in it takes up a lot of your body's energy for digestion. Plus, the sugar in your soda slows down stomach processes. As a result, you get stomach heaviness and bloating. Ah, such a small price to pay for such eating ecstasy. <laughs> in addition, the sugar can't get to your intestines, where it should be dissolved because of your full stomach. The combination of these factors can lead to stomach problems if you enjoy this meal too often. If you're a big soda fan and can't go without it despite its unhealthy sugary nature, take it one to one and a half hours after you eat. And good luck with that. And number one, wheat bread and jam. Oh, just shoot me now. Refined wheat flour combined with sweets is a double dose of fast carbs that can cause a rapid glucose surge. It will provide you with a boost of energy for just a short time, and then exhaustion and a bad mood will take its place. What do you mean by that? Another argument against this combination is unrest in your bowels. Oh, write that down, unrest in your bowels. Caused by the alliance of yeast-fermented dough and sugar. It's an especially terrible idea to have wheat bread with jam on an empty stomach. Substitute wheat bread with whole wheat bread, especially if it's non-yeasted. To make it even better, replace jam with honey, since it doesn't cause bowel unrest and has a bunch of healthy benefits. So, which of the combinations mentioned in this video is your favorite? Well, I don't know what I'm gonna eat next week. Feel free to share in the comment section below. If this video helped you learn something new, give it a like. Send a link to all your friends who are concerned about their health. If you're new to our channel, welcome! And don't forget to subscribe to it so you don't miss any important updates. Remember, life is always better on the Bright Side!